Unilorin Positemi must fail general paper questions. This question says, if you were one of the students instructed to fill a basket with water, knowing fully well that a basket is a well perforated object, how would you fill it? Option A, it is impossible. Option B, we'll use big buckets to fill it. Option C, immerse it in a pool of water. Option D, immerse it in a pool of water and quickly take it out. Now the correct answer to this question is option C, immerse it in a pool of water. This is a very simple but tricky question. The question is not asking if there is a possibility that a basket could be filled with water. So option A may sound correct, but it isn't. But rather, it is asking how would you fill it? Applying option B and D's method won't still fill the basket. That means even if you use the biggest bucket on earth to try to fill a basket, it won't still fill it. And also, if you immerse in a pool of water and quickly take it out, because of the perforations on the basket, the water will quickly seep out. So the best way to fill a basket is to immerse it in a pool of water. So imagine taking a basket to, let's say, a swimming pool and dropping the basket into the water. Once the water covers the basket, we can say that the basket is full of water. So the correct answer here is option C. Unilorin Positemi must fail general paper questions. This question says, in the understanding of the actual arrangement, the sun revolves round the earth dash. Option A, always. Option B, often. Option C, never. Option D, sometimes. This is a very simple but tricky question. If not carefully read and understood, you may likely choose the wrong answer. In geography, we were taught that the earth revolves round the sun and not the other way around. It has never been mentioned that the sun revolves round the earth. One revolution around the earth takes the earth about 365 days or one year. The earth rotates around the sun because of the sun's gravitational pull. So note that the sun does not and will never revolve around the earth. So the correct answer to this question is option C, never. In Lauren Positemi most failed general paper questions. This question says, which of the following gives the best logical sequence of events? Option A, the lorry crashed into the stream. The flood covered the bridge. It was dark. Option B, the lorry crashed into the stream. It was dark. The flood covered the bridge. Option C, it was dark. The flood covered the bridge. The lorry crashed into the stream. Option D, it was dark. The lorry crashed into the stream. The flood covered the bridge. The correct answer to this question is option C, which is, it was dark, the flood covered the bridge, and the lorry crashed into the stream. So this can be read as, it was dark, and the flood covered the bridge, so the lorry crashed into the stream. Unilorin Positemi must fill general paper questions. This question says, a rancher plans to add a post between every two posts of an open-ended straight fence. He will currently has 10 posts in the fence. How many does he need to insert? Option A, 5. Option B, 9. Option C, 10. Option D, 20. Now to arrive at our correct answer, let's try to work this out together. For any student that will not properly read a question and then give a little time to try to understand it, such student's answer will be 5, being that the question says there are currently 10 posts in the fence and the rancher needs to add one post in between. So the answer may be 5, but this is not correct. When given a question like this, the first thing to do is try to list out the number of posts given. So we do that here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Or you can try to draw out things that look like posts, as I've done here. Now the next step is to try to add a post in between every two posts. 
So we do that now. We have here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So from this, you can see that the rancher needs to insert nine new posts in the fence. So from our options here, we can see that option B is nine. And so nine is the correct answer. Unilorin Positiemi must fail general paper questions. This question says, which sequential order best describes the events in the following? Option A, tomorrow may be too late. You may regret time wasted. Make hair while the sun shines. Option B, make hair while the sun shines. You may regret time wasted. Tomorrow may be too late. Option C, make hair while, sh while sun shines. Tomorrow may be too late. You may regret time wasted. Option D. You may regret time wasted. Make hay while sun shines. Tomorrow may be too late. Now the correct sequential order in this case is option C. That is, make hay while sun shines. Tomorrow may be too late. And you, you may regret time wasted. We can say an advice comes first. The fact follows. And then the repercussions that will happen if you fail to follow the advice and facts stated. Unilorin Positiemi must fail general paper questions. This question says, 50 men can build a house in 60 days. How many more men of equal strength and ability must be put on so as to finish a similar house in 40 days? Option A, 25 men. Option B, 30 men. Option C, 35 men. Option D, 33 men. Now let's try to work this out together to arrive at our correct answer. So we have solution. As with any arithmetic problem given, the first step is to list out the parameters given. So let's do that now. As you can see on your screen, I've listed this out. Men already available, let's call it M1 equals 50. Days of completion for 50 men, we'll call this D1 equals 60 days. Extra men needed, we'll call this M2, and this, is, and this value is unknown. Expected days, of, expected days of completion, we'll call this D2, and we have it to be 40 days. So let's proceed. And so we apply the concept main times days, that is M1 times D1 equals M2 times D2. So from the question, we are told that M1, which is the number of men already available, is 50. D1, which is the days of completion for 50 men, is 60. M2 is the unknown variable, so we'll call it M M2 is the unknown variable, so we write M2. D2 is the D2 is the expected days for completion, so we and we and it's given to be 40, so we write here 40. Now if we work this out, we'll have 50 times 60 equals 3000 equals 40 times M2 equals 40 M2. Now, to find our M2, we divide both sides by 40. So we divide here by 40, divide here by 40. This cancels out. But this gives us 75. So we have M2 equals 75 men. So number of extra men needed equals 75 minus the original number of men that were working on the project already, which is 50, and this will give us, which was 50, and this will give us 25 men. So the number of extra men needed is 25 men. Now let's check our options to see if we have this as part of the options. And we can see that option A is 25 men. So option A, is the correct answer. Unilorin Positemi must fill general paper questions. This question says, 
Third world countries are found in Option A, Europe, Asia, and Soviet Union. Option B, Africa, Asia, and Latin America. Option C, North and South America. Option D, Asia. And the correct answer to this question is option B, Africa, Asia, and Latin America. The term third world was originally coined in times of the Cold War to distinguish those nations that are neither aligned with the West nor with the East. Today, the term is often used to describe the developing countries of Africa, Asia, Latin America, and Oceania. Many poorer nations adopted the term to describe themselves. So the correct answer to this question is option B, Africa, Asia, and Latin America. In the law post, you tell me most failed general paper questions. This question says, a tricycle is dash, option A, vehicle, option B, lorry, option C, three concentric cycles, option D, truck. And the correct answer to this question is option A, vehicle. A vehicle is a machine usually with wheels and an engine that is used for carrying or transporting something or people from one place to the other. You can agree with me that these are all properties of a tricycle that is having an engine and, on, and being on wheels. A tricycle is a vehicle similar to a bicycle or a car but having three wheels, two at the back and one at the front. So the correct answer is option A. Unilowing pursuit teaming must fail general paper questions. This question says, which of the following is wrong? Option A, plane crash. Option B, boat sink. Option C, car accident. Option D, shipwreck. And the correct answer to this question is option B, both sink. And this is because all the options are nouns and grammatically correct except for both sink. And so it would be improper to say both sink. This does not imply that a boat cannot sink, but the reason why it is wrong is because it is grammatically incorrect. In the Lauren post, we must fill general paper questions. This question says, someone who persists in doing the wrong thing, even after he has been punished, is said to be dash. Option A, stubborn. Option B, heady. Option C, recalcitrant. Option D, disobedient. All the options given here are similar, but the one that best answers the question is option C, Recalcitrant. As adjectives, the difference between stubborn and recalcitrant is that stubborn is refusing to move or to change one's opinion that is being obstinate, firmly resisting, while recalcitrant is marked by a stubborn unwillingness to obey authority. Recalcitrant means that they are uncooperative towards authority or hard to work with. So you can agree that option C, recalcitrant is the correct answer.